now we've got a blockage and none of these other options worked. The lesser invasive education, statins, nitroglycerins, calcium channel blockers, none of them worked because it was so, again, either they were compliant, non-compliant, modifiable or non-modifiable risk factors, whatever the situation was, whatever it was, we're at this point now. We're at this point where we're stuck with an artery that's clogged up with this plaque. And it's causing this and all that consistent chest pain is not relieved by any of the aforementioned options. None of them worked and we're still getting that chest pain. Well, that's clearly indicative of the fact that this patient has had ischemia and is lacking that blood supply and oxygen to that portion of the heart or portions of the heart. You think that atherosclerotic plaques or, the, or coronary artery disease is going to affect just one vessel on the heart or can it affect multiple? So now we get into cardiac catheterization. All right. There are terms in here that people confuse all the time. So I want you to pay attention very carefully to the definitions of each ones of each one. The first one is cardiac catheterization. Well, think about what a catheter is. Is it not just a tube? When we do a catheter, we're, right? It's just a tube. It's not the same as a stent. That's what I'm trying to clarify. This is not the stent. Cardiac catheterization is just me putting a tube. It's just an insertion of a catheter tube. That's all it is, cardiac catheterization. Did I say anything else? Did I say any type of, did I say any type of a stent? Did I say any type of an angioplasty? I did not say anything. I said ca ca cardiac catheterization, which means I'm putting a tube in the heart. Fair? This is not a central line. Central line is what we do to get, it's kind of like an IV, but way more invasive with a lot more drugs that can go in, totally different. Cardiac catheterization is a tube that goes in through the groin or the wrist. It's just a tube. Think about a catheter. You're gonna be, many of you will be doing, will be putting in a catheter, right? A Foley catheter, right? It's just a tube. So this tube is going into the heart. That's it. Cardiac catheterization. It's just the tube. Did I say stent? No. This is where a lot of people mess up. A lot of people mess up. This is, in fact, just the cardiac a tube going into the heart. We can go in through the wrist, we can go in through the groin. We can go in through the wrist, we can go in through the groin. But the purpose of this cardiac catheterization or this tube that's going in is so we can inject a contrast dye to be able to visualize so we can visualize the arteries of the heart. In order for me to get that dye into the coronary arteries, I must get a tube in and then inject the dye. Now we've clarified the term cardiac catheterization. Is that a stent? No, it's just the tube wrist or groin, it's just the tube. With that tube comes the contrast dye. Wait a minute. Now we're going to get into contrast dye. What organ, again, we talk about drug metabolization, what organ is going to be responsible for metabolizing 
contrast diet. The kidney, the kidney. So a couple of takeaways that we must have here. Must we check their renal function? Absolutely. Usually this contrast dye is iodine based. Should we make sure that they're that they don't have any type of allergy to iodine or to contrast dye? Absolutely. Does that mean shellfish? No, it does not mean shellfish. So don't think that shellfish and iodine dye are contraindicated. If you have shellfish allergy and you get a contrast iodine dye, it's fine. I need to know if they're taking certain drugs. What drugs am I concerned about when it comes to contrast dye and or doing cardiac catheterization? Well, the first one with contrast iodine dye is going to be metformin. Because if metformin is given with this dye, they will go into lactic acidosis. So we stop metformin 48 hours before, and we stop metformin until 48 hours after the procedure. 48 hours before and 48 hours after if they're on metformin. If we're going into the wrist or we're going into the groin, are we going into a vein or are we going into an artery if I'm trying to visualize an artery? Is this intravenous or is this going into an artery? We're going into an artery, which means that, that is this person at risk for ash if I'm doing a procedure? Yes. Am I sedating them? Potentially airway, altered mental status with drugs? Sure. Sepsis with insertion of the catheter? Sure. Hemorrhaging because I'm going into an artery? Absolutely. So you see how I said ash will show up. And this is a perfect example. I'm going into an artery, which means do I want them to be anticoagulated? No. Stop all anticoagulants seven days prior to procedure. Stop anticoagulants seven days prior to the procedure. That is cardiac catheterization, commonly mistaken for a stent. Is all this going to lead to a stent? Yes. I need to do a cardiac catheterization and do contrast dye to be able to visualize which arteries are in fact blocked. Then I do what's called a percutaneous coronary intervention or a coronary angioplasty, which is a balloon tip catheter. So I send a catheter in through the artery, femoral or wrist, same thing as before, with the balloon on the tip of it, because now I know where to go, right? We visualized by the cardiac catheterization and the dye, I know where to go now. I know which ones are blocked. So now I send it in to where I want to go because I'm, I've already visualized it. I know exactly I'm watching it go in and in and in. And I get to the blockage and I get that balloon in there. And now, boom, I inflate the balloon. Have I said stent yet? No, not yet. This is just a balloon, angioplasty or coronary angioplasty, right? You see the terms? Are they starting to make a little bit more sense now? A catheter, a balloon angioplasty. It's a step-by-step. -step. Cardiac catheterization, catheter. Visualize with dye. Coronary angioplasty, a balloon angioplasty in the coronary arteries. And that balloon gets to where we, we already know we wanna go and then boom, it pushes the plaques to the side. It pushes the plaques to the side. And now, what do we send in? Now, we send in the stent. Now, we send in the stent. So, you see the progression of the terms that get, inter uh, that get interchanged. So, it's very important 
to understand what each one means and how they get confused.